A Gingerbread Christmas is a pretty decent film. This was released in 2022. It's directed by Pat Keeley, written by Blaine Chiapetta and Carly Smell, and it stars Taya Serker as our protagonist, Hazel. And I will say the only issue I had with this is sometimes the character of Hazel. Sometimes she was okay. Sometimes I really didn't like her. There are just certain attitudes that the character has that I struggled to get on board with. Not so much that I couldn't watch the film, I still found it to be quite enjoyable. And thankfully, our other protagonist, James, played by Mark Ben David, is really likeable, and I completely got behind him as a character. So that definitely helped to lift things up a little bit. But that's just something that's worth bearing in mind, that for me at least, Hazel wasn't the most likeable. But aside from that, it's a pretty decent film. Hazel and James enter a, well, a gingerbread competition. And it's really important to Hazel in particular because her family's bakery is not doing very well, partly because a rival bakery has opened up nearby and there's a cash prize for the gingerbread competition. And she desperately wants to win. And she's a lot more emotional about it than James is because obviously... Well, I say obviously, it's really emotional for her because her mother put her heart and soul into the bakery. Her mother is no longer with her. So it's definitely a very, very difficult emotional journey for Hazel. And that can sometimes excuse some of her behaviours and her very unpleasant attitude sometimes, but not always. It doesn't excuse all of it. But in general, I found it to be a really delightful process. If you have a sweet tooth, you might find it quite torturous because it is delicious. It's a very delicious film. Pretty much every scene has some kind of sugar in it. And I really wanted sugar pretty much all throughout it. Also, the gingerbread creations. I won't describe them. I won't go into any real detail. But it's worth it for those. I don't actually know if they are made with gingerbread or if they're made with something else for the purpose of the film. But whatever they're made of. They look amazing. And I had a lot of fun with this. I did read some of the reviews online. It's not the most loved. It's got 6 out of 10 on IMDb. But only across 331 reviews and ratings. So it's not the biggest pool of opinions. It seems to be generally well received. But somebody pointed something out that I didn't pick up on. And they said it's very similar to the film A Gingerbread Romance. Which is a brilliant film. Really thoroughly recommend it. And it's similar in the sense that our protagonist is an architect, that's Hazel's background, and they are making gingerbread. But I will say, if you've seen a gingerbread romance, that's where the similarities end. Well, it's a Christmas rom-com, so there are other, you know, traditional hallmarks of a Christmas rom-com in both films. But if you've seen that film and you think this sounds like a copycat, or, you know, just something that's really similar... It's not. There are enough differences. They have a very different feel. I think the characters are very different people. So the premises on the surface are quite similar, but the executions are actually really rather different. I also don't think this is the most predictable film either, which was really surprising. And I found that to be quite delightful. So it's a decent enough narrative. It's certainly quite festive. It's very delicious. The characters are... None of the characters are bad. But I, I don't love Hazel. But as I said, James is likeable enough that he helps to bring that up a little bit. So it's worth watching. If you like sugar-based Christmas films, then A Gingerbread Christmas is worth checking out. It may not be perfect, but I still enjoyed it.